One of the biggest problems creating AI music is vocal consistency. I'm going to show you guys a new tool with vocal consistency was one of the core benefits to it. Let's dive in. Okay, so you want to go over to Eureka.ai. That's Eureka with an M in front of it. And you want to click on, you want to sign in. You know, you'll have a sign in option. And then you'll get six free credits a day to just mess around with. I think it takes two credits per generation. And it will give you two songs per generation. So you can click on create. And when you get here, you're going to have this little page that looks familiar, yet a little different. Now here you don't type in prompts like you would on Suno or Udio. Here, this, the, what it does is it prompts the song from the lyrics. So the song style based on how the lyrics are going. Also, it has these options here where you got style. It can add a reference audio to control the style. Vocal, you can choose a singer to sing your song, and this is where the vocal consistency comes in. And then melody, this is in beta, but you can record a melody uh, motif for your lyrics. Um, I've been playing around with this thing, and I think it's got a lot of potential. Um, so let's just dive right in to show you guys how to operate it. So first of all, you can just type in a song. You can type in lyrics. Um, I'm just going to type in new song, just a little generic here. And still some lyrics here. Uh, still these lyrics from ChatGPT. Okay, I'm going to put that in here. Now, so you could create here, but it's just going to be a crapshoot. You don't really have the option to say, I want uh, to make this a hip-hop song or a pop song in this area right here. To do that, you would come over here to the style button. So... You're going to click on the style and what you can do here is you see you see the library down here now this is users you see the from user uh, from user and from user also if you see this little button right here you can ch check different genres and you can see they have you know a good variety of genres here and um, have some of the ones that you've used and then you have some of your own now these would be um, the ones that you've uploaded yourself and you can be consistent if you want to try to get you know two or three songs that have the same vibe to them you can do that yourself. Um, now to upload a song you see here you can paste a YouTube link or a drag audio file here. You can at the moment paste a copyrighted YouTube link to this. It will accept it. I don't recommend it and neither do they. They, want, they encourage you to try to use your own music or melodies. So what we can do here is click on the file button and let's just pick, these are some little song ideas that I come up with and uh, let's pick, you like lo-fi and so what you're going to do is once you click it, you're going to click this little check mark, it's going to play the song and kind of give you some options here for genre. So, Pick. I'm gonna turn it down so loud. I'm gonna pick uh, hip hop, although it was a bit jazzy, and then we're gonna go super relaxed, and then you just click done. Oh, we gotta you gotta add a title too. So I'm just gonna do lo-fi. Okay, now you click done. It's gonna save this, and now this is saved in your uh, your references, so that you can always go back to it. You see right here, these are songs that I've uploaded or you know snippets of songs it, it uploads 30 seconds then you can click here use so you can use any of the ones that you've done so let's click use now one of the cool things here is the vocal now you can add they're gonna be adding a bunch more singers to this but right now you have all these vocals now that you can use these people consistently to create like a whole album of your songs uh, they've got Stan, Roderick, uh, Agatha, Gemma, Darren. Okay, so let's just play a couple of these. I dreamed of crafting a song, but the past felt so hard. I dreamed of crafting the song. I dreamed of crafting a song, but the past. So you can see. I dreamed of crafting a song, but the past felt so hard. And they got a couple hip hop ones. I truly the craft in the song, but the path felt so hard. Then I met Marika Light and my dream took flight. 
So, um, anyway, some some decent options here. Uh, they like I said, they are not adding more. There's more here than there were the other day when I first started playing around on this. Um, so oh, I didn't pick a vocalist. Let's, let's go with uh, let's do let's see what uh, Darren sounds like. I dreamed of crafting a song, but the path fell. We're gonna use him, and I'm not sure how this is gonna sound because it kind of got a lo-fi vibe with these lyrics here. But let's just go ahead and click create. Okay, that took about a minute. So um, I don't have no idea what these are going to sound like. So let's go ahead and play the first one here. I've been holding on to shadows, chasing echoes in the dark. Every time I thought I found you, you were just another spark. Yeah. Promises left unspoken, like a whisper in the breeze. Now I'm standing here wide open. Trying to piece back my belief. That's not bad. Okay. Uh, so this will be a... And if you notice here below here, it says Indie R&B uh, Relentless uh, Relaxed Sad. Or Restless Relaxed Sad. I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses on. Um, and this one says uh, Restless Calm Relaxed or whatever. So if you notice each one of these generations, they'll, they'll give you a different... Um, uh, genre prompt underneath of them like down here we got dance party sad mysterious romantic indie dance warm romantic sad so I, I don't know how to control that i've not found a way yet but it has been pretty consistent kind of sticking with that same style so it's basically picking that style and then throwing things out out of it so let's see what the next song sounds like i've been holding on to shadows chasing echoes in the dark Every time I thought I'd found you You were just another spark Promises I've done spoken Like a whisper in the breeze Now I'm standing here wide open Okay, so I like the first song better um, So what I'd like to do now Let's change the style Let's go with a different style We're going to keep the vocals the same So you guys can see um, that the vocals actually stay the same. Let's do this. It's... Okay, so we're going to do this style. It's kind of a indie energetic. And we're going to keep the vocals. And let's just keep the lyrics the same right now. We'll just change it. Uh, new, st new song too. Uh, that way you guys can see that the guy's vocals actually stay the same. Now, don't get me wrong. They don't always work for the genre. Uh, you really need to figure... Like, I think you need to some fine-tuning on this. Like, figure out what's going to work best for exactly what you're trying to get out of it. Like I said before, I think it's got a lot of fun potential. So, I'm going to go ahead and create this, and uh, let's see what we come up with. Okay, here we go. Uh, so, let's try the first one. I have not heard these yet, so uh, we're hearing the first time together. I've been holding on to shadows, chasing echoes in the dark. Every time I thought I'd found you, you were just another spark. Promises left unspoken, like a whisper in the breeze. I don't like the music, but the uh, vocals are the same, and it is weird hearing the same lyrics. So I maybe it should have changed the lyrics. Let's try this one. See what this one sounds like. I've been holding on to shadows, chasing echoes in the dark. Every time I thought I'd found you, you were just another spark. Promises left unspoken like a whisper in the breeze Okay, so it's definitely um, more poppy feeling and the vocals are consistent if you listen back to this one I've been holding on the shadows chasing echoes in the dark It's definitely the same vocalist So although this one here sounded a little bit darker mix wise, but that can actually be fixed in editing moving on Let's try some different genres shall we? Uh, let's go here and see. I'm just I'm just veering away from all these right now because I don't want to get copyrighted. But I encourage you to explore them and see, you know, uh, because they're not all like when you look at the country ones. You can see that some of the ones that are up here, like that's a Taylor Swift song. Uh, Texas Hold'em is a popular song. Um, I had some help is a Post Malone song. Uh, fun fact, uh, a guy I know is playing guitar for Post Malone in his country band, so that's awesome. Uh, congrats, Luke. You d well deserved. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to mine, and, uh, oh no, let's, let's upload another song here. Let's try jazz. You like jazz? Um, 
and I'm not sure I've not done any jazz yet. I don't know how it's going to sound. Okay, something I did not talk to you about earlier. So you can see this is a four minute song. So you can pick where about in the song you want to start. So if you wanted to start here, you can pick. So to take that 30 second clip here, you see this little, it's kind of hard to see, but it's a little highlighted here. Um, but we're gonna start from the beginning. So we can get that now. We're gonna go ahead and click done. Oh, I forgot to add a thing. We're gonna do jazz. Okay, click done. Okay, so now you see we have jazz here as an option to use. Uh, you can also delete the ones you don't like, but let's go ahead and click use. I'm not sure, uh, we could probably go ahead and use the same guy's vocals in this. We can see what this genre sounds like with the jazz added to it. But I did wanna show you guys something else that's really neat. So say you want an intro to this. Or say you're just writing out your lyrics. If you go down here and click this button here, it's got your song structure. So you can type in, you can just click this, bam. You don't have to put brackets or anything, it's already there. Brackets for intro. Or if you want underneath the chorus here, say you want a uh, break. Bam, you got a break. So that's really cool, very handy. Uh, I imagine that Suno and Udio are probably going to see this stuff and kind of you know, snag some of these ideas. You know, never mind that. Right now, these people are thinking outside the box, which I really appreciate. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with this. It's time to find out what jazz sounds like. This is, uh, I'm really interested in this. This is going to be a crapshoot here. So let's try it out. I've been holding on to shadows, chasing echoes in the dark. Every time I thought I'd found you, you were just another spark. Okay, so what if you're like, okay, I don't I like the song. I don't like the vocals, though. Let's just click this again. Let's, let's pick a different vocalist. I dreamed of crafting a song, but the path found. She sounds like she could maybe fit that. Let's try this. So we're going to try that, and then... We're going to regenerate that song. And I'm not sure. Let's see what it sounds like. I want to remember what it sounds like real quick. Okay. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Let's try it. Okay. So we're going to regenerate. So it says select a part to keep the area and the lyrics to regenerate. So we're going to do the whole thing. So, all right. Now, let's see what this does for us. Okay, so let's see what these uh, two sound like. Drum beat sounds the same. Okay. It's definitely the same song. Just another spot, promises left unspoken, like a whisper in the breeze. That's not bad. That actually sounded way better than the guy singing it. Let's check out this one and see what it sounds like. Thank you. 
I've been holding on to shadows, chasing echoes in the dark. Every time I thought I'd found you, you were just another spark. Promises left unspoken, like a whisper in the breeze. Okay, so, you know, I know it sounds a bit AI, um, but I'm going to tell you, I... The song structure on that was really solid. Um, it'd be a song that I would listen to 100%. Like, if you notice here, you see the store. You're like, what is the store about? So the store, this is such a unique uh, idea. The store is, you can actually buy AI songs that people have created. I went through some of these in summer, solid. Summer, not as solid. Uh, you actually have to... Uh, from your music, you have to uh, apply to sell. So that means that somebody's there, like, you know, probably checking for copyright. Um, and uh, so you have to apply to sell. And, you know, I mean, I'm not sure how much money you'll make off these songs or how many people are actually going to buy from here. It, but it's, you know, it's a unique concept. And I do think that they said that they were going to be sending them out, like, yeah, they're distributing them to else other places so maybe there's a good chance you can sell a hit uh notice you can also download your mp3 and you can download if you're a paying subscriber which i am download your certificate ownership certificate i guess meaning you own the song uh you can download the instrumental and streams that comes in a rip file i've downloaded it but i'm not like seeing what what it looks like yet this is a different beast than Udo or Sino. I think there's room in the market for this. I think, like I said before, I think they're thinking outside the box. They have room to grow as far as production quality. But what they're doing is unique. And I think it's really cool. I, like vocal consistency is extremely awesome. And being able to upload a style, especially if you're already a musician where you can kind of create your own style, and it kind of mimicked that flavor. That's really cool too. It's the best, easiest way to put out an album that's consistent for AI. Well, that's what I think. But you know what? It doesn't matter what I think. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Also, there's a link to Marika down in the comments. Click on it and get some free credits. Till next time.